Hello, I'm David Barrett, Executive Director of Network for Animals, and I'm talking to you from the front lines of the Ukraine war. To give you an idea of how bad this war is, in two days we've twice come under missile attack. Can you imagine how terrified we are? And can you imagine how much worse it is for the animals? We're here because our partners are telling us that they're running out of money they can't help as many animals as they should. You have no idea of the bravery of the people that rescue animals from the war zone. Our vet, Pavlina Harrison from Lviv, went into a bottomed out building under fire to rescue a gravely injured cat. While she was performing an emergency operation, snipers tried to shoot her through the window of the house. She goes there every week, risking her life there are very few people in the world brave enough to do what Paulina and our other partners do. They risk their lives every single day, but they're running out of money. They need money to get to the front line. They need money for equipment. We do our absolute best to help them. But the trouble is, people are forgetting about the war in the welter of other things going on in the world. But it's getting worse for the animals. The Russians are advancing. More and more people are fleeing. More and more animals are abandoned. Our partner, Nauzad, distributes food throughout Ukraine, but its warehouse is emptier than it should be. And the situation is getting worse because the animals are breeding uncontrollably. Even under fire, we have to conduct spay and neuter programs. It's a daunting task. Our newest partner, Animal Rescue Kharkiv, is housing 236 cats rescued from the front line in an old bomb shelter. They desperately need help to improve the facilities and to create more space for the ever increasing flood of animals coming in. They need help. We need to give them help. And we're desperately looking to find ways to do that. Our longest term partner in Ukraine is Pluritan. We've been working with them since the second day of the war. They've rescued thousands of animals from the front line. They take them to temporary shelters and then rehome them throughout the world. They're in the middle of building yet another enlargement to their shelter, but the donations have dried up and that means they can't take more animals from the front line. That means those animals die. Please, won't you help us to help them? Network for Animals promised that we will stay in Ukraine helping animals until the war is over. It's a pledge we intend to keep. Please find it in your hearts to donate generously to Network for Animals today so that we can continue our vital work rescuing animal victims of a dreadful war.